Let's take a look at setting a mailbox auto reply in Exchange as an administrator in PowerShell. So the first thing is you'll either, either need to be in the Exchange Management shell or have an Exchange Management session open. And you can see that I've got an Exchange PowerShell session open. So the first scenario I want to take a look at is just setting the auto reply state to enable. So it's just it's sending auto replies. Uh, and then giving it a couple of really simple messages, and then of course setting the external audience to all. So I'm going to splat that into the enabled variable. And then we use the set mailbox auto reply configuration commandlet to set those settings. And then using the get mailbox auto reply configuration, we can examine those settings that we just set. And you can see that we now have an auto reply state of enabled and the internal and external messages were converted to HTML. So if we send that user a test message, we can actually see uh, what that message will look like. Next scenario I want to take a look at is generating a custom HTML auto reply. So I've actually generated one here. I'm going to assign it to the messaged HTML variable. And then use that variable to assign it to the internal and external messages parameters. And then for this and then for this example, I'm setting the auto reply state to scheduled so that we can decide when it starts and when it ends. And using the get date commandlet, I've set the start time to right now and the end time to a week from right now. So I'm going to go ahead and splat that to the scheduled variable and then use the set mailbox auto reply configuration commandlet again to set those settings. And then using the get mailbox auto reply configuration commandlet, we can retrieve those settings and see that we have a start and end time, as well as those HTML, as well as those HTML messages um, that we set. And if you're not sure how to create those HTML messages, the easiest way I've found is to go into OWA, uh, set your own auto reply, and then use the get mailbox auto reply configuration to look at those messages, and then you can use uh, you can use that syntax for generating your own. And so, if we send a if we send an email to this individual, we can see what that second message looks looks like. In this case, we've got some bold, we got some italics, and we've even got a hyperlink. So, so you can actually make the message as complicated as you are good at HTML. So that is how you set a mailbox auto reply in exchange as an administrator using PowerShell.